वेलकम गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर ऑल हेल्दी दिस टाइम आई आल्सो थिंक दैट वी आर ऑल प्रोग्रेसिंग इन आवर रिस्पेक्टिव कोर्स टुडे वी हैव चेंज्ड आवर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ डिस्कशन बिकॉज फॉर लास्ट थ्री डेज यू हैव इन टॉकिंग अबाउट a very important poem from english literature i think that uh, today this time we should talk about a new chapter of grammar that is case we already know that uh, language plays a very important role not only in our examination all that in university level but also for the friend competitive purpose we ultimately take our academic degree to make ourselves prepare for the friend competitive examinations so within university levels of shastri and upshastri we have so many important top chapters from english grammar that can build our language and make us prepare for further competitive examination too so when it is a matter of talking about case we should notice that it is a spinal chapter of language no matter what language you are talking even in sanskrit we find that uh, the case and karak plays a very very decisive role for making a semantic relationship among words so we say that uh, it has a very important role to play when we try to make words semantically meaningful in a linear progression so we can say that it is uh, the linear progression of words which are decided by the rule of case now we know that in sanskrit case is just a lakar case is uh, just a at the root of a word there we are just uh, trying to form the words into ek vachan dui vachan and bahu vachan and into sterling pulling and napunsak so here each noun has its distinct case form and accordingly we are selecting the word into definite case and it helps us build up the semantic relationship among the words but when you are talking about english language we find that here we have just three cases including nominative case or subjective case objective case and progressive or genitive case so in comparison with english sanskrit has vast area of case to talk about we can say that here remaining words to find the relationship among the words in the sentences are made by the use of preposition in english but here we can talk about just three cases that helps us build up the basic structure of the sentence as you already know that uh, just a word is not uh, sufficient to give us complete meaning that we want to express suppose boy girl three these are all words 
they signify a certain object and idea but uh, we want to give fullness of idea so fullness of idea becomes clear when these words are kept into sentences into another words so here the word that you use in the sentence is placed according to the tense so according to the case that the word has now what i want to tell you is the fact that at least there should be two words for formation of a basic sentence for example i go this is a sentence which has completeness of idea there are only two words uh which have made the sense complete it is only because of the fact that one word is subject and another word is verb so what you find is the fact that for making a sentence we need a subject and when we need a subject definitely we should keep that word into nominative case or subjective case so the word which functions of the subject in the sentence remains into nominative case or subjective case now so we can say when we are trying to make a meaningful sentence we should always try to make the word functioning as a subject so when word is functioning as a subject it uh, remains into nominative case so maybe there is only one word which is functioning as a subject in the sentence or sometime we can say there are many many words which are collectively functioning as the subject so we have the sentence like the boys of this school run in the field so here the subject is boys of this school we cannot say that only boys is the subject in the sentence because boys has been related with other nouns as well it has it, it the boys have been particularized here the boys of n- not uh, another school but this one it is not general boys that we are talking we are talking of the boys only of this school so the whole idea becomes a subject and we can say uh, this is the subject made of many words but uh, this subject is in nominative case so what do you find we find that uh, just a noun may be the subject of the sentence generally you find uh, that ram runs here ram is a subject and it is subject because it is uh, in nominative case or we can also say because it is in nominative case here so it is just the subject now maybe a pronoun is the subject in of the sentence so we can say that he sings is the sentence and in the sentence what do you find he is the subject that is a pronoun into nominative case so here what you find is the fact that a noun may be the subject a pronoun may be the subject or maybe sometime an adjective also becomes a subject like the poor are happy here the poor functioning as the subject is in nominative case but that poor is adjective likewise sometimes we find that uh, verb also sometime functions of the subject so to run is good for our health here what you find to run is the verb but that is functioning as a subject in the sentence so these are all into a uh, nominative case so we can say that uh, uh, there are words which are placed at the particular place in the sentence that is the place of subject in english we can say the place of the subject is fixed against sanskrit in sanskrit place does not matter 
whether the word has been used as a subject or as an object because there we find that uh, just it is what uh, prathama vibhakti dutiya vibhakti you know these are two vibhaks in which the forms of the words are already uh, defined so no matter where you put all these words but they are functioning either as subject or the object and so on so we can say here english plays so important in english the placement plays so important role when we are talking about the subject of the sentence so so it is one point second point is that uh, in english we can also say when we are using noun as a subject uh it is only by placement we can say whether that noun is subject in the sentence or object of the sentence because there is no distinct marker of noun as nominative case or objective case in the sentence in the sentence age ram runs ram is subject because it functions as a subject it takes place of the subject but i teach ram here it is the same ram but it is functioning as an object it takes the place of an object so uh, in the word ram there is no marker whether that ram is used as a subject in the sentence or that ram is used as an object of the sentence then oh, what does decide uh, that the ram is subject and ram is object it is decided by the placement that there is a distinct place of the subject in the sentence of english and there is a distinct place of an object in english so uh, in competition we can hardly commit any mistake when uh, just uh, we look at the sentence which is made of noun as subject and object because they remain the same in the form but yes we can commit mistakes uh, in competition uh, so far as common usage is concerned something like that when you are dealing with pronoun because just a pronoun is a structural word and the pronouns are just defined in terms of their case we can say the pronoun is used simply in a specified case we have the pronouns like i uh, we have the pronouns like we you he she it they who which that this these those each everybody everyone no one nobody none they are used in nominative case they are nominative case pronoun yes we can say that uh, which is used in both nominative and objective case we can also say that that is used in both nominative and objective case but uh, personal pronouns like i we you he she it are always used in nominative case it simply means they are uh, just used as the subject of the sentence they can never be used as an object of sentence so uh when you make the sentence he talked i we see that using i is not correct it is an error because we have used i at the place of object but we have given that pronoun into nominative form so he talked me because me is the form of objective case of i so so what just by this example we have already cleared that here i is always made subject or it remains at the place of subject here we have some examples of noun and pronouns as subject we can say ramesh administered program well you find that is here first sentence ramesh functioning as subject it is in nominative case now we are coming to the second sentence they were nice performers they is also subject into the nominative case they are pronoun taking place the uh, placement of subject and they are also in nominative case now we can talk about everybody 
that is also the subject because everybody knows his, her, good and bad. So what you find that um, there, there is a verb, you know, like administered in the first, where in the second and knows in the third. So the place uh, falling before the verb is the place of subject in the sentence. So when we are going to use uh, especially the subject, we should see in what way we are going to use uh, especially pronoun as a subject that we should remember, we should learn by heart all the pronouns written here that they are always in nominative case and they should always be used as a subject in the sentence. So we should not uh, just uh, be in a doubt to use these uh, pronouns as an object of the sentence. Now we are moving to the second case that is objective case of the uh, language like English. So here you find that objective case uh, signifies the fact that the word used in the sentence will be into uh, the uh, placement of object because here when the word occupies the place of object the word remains into objective case. So here when a noun or pronoun function as an object of transitive verb or preposition or adjective it remains into objective case. So when you are using the object of transitive verb uh, the, or we can say the word falling after the transitive verb or the word falling after preposition or adjective are all into objective case. They are all object in the sentence because transitive verb has a has an object, preposition has an object and uh, adjective too has an object. So they always remains into objective case. So uh, I, I have already explained earlier that noun does not have any kind of marker as a subject, as an object in English because Ram or Sham or Mohan or pencil or boy uh, are nouns. They can be used in the same form when you are using them as subject or as an object. But in Sanskrit we can find that uh, these are already just uh, into different form. Now we can take the word of Balak and uh, we can say the object objective form of Balak is what? You know, uh, um, just uh, Balakam um, bal, balken and balko. These are all the objective form of balak. Balakam, balken and balko. And uh, that is in uh, just ek vachan, di vachan and bahu vachan. And so uh, just accordingly when we are going to make balak or boy as an object. So oh, depending upon this number we can choose among uh, balakam, uh, uh, balkan or balku, balakam, balkan or balku, and uh, accordingly we can use. But here uh, is the same word boy is always boy when you are talking as the just subject or object in the sentence. So here we can take the examples of uh, uh, the word object. These words are noun. So he suggested just uh, Hajari not to walk at night. So Hajari, the sub noun as, a, as an object uh, in the first sentence is used. We are proud of our soldiers. So of is the preposition. So our soldiers is an object of of. So they prevented children, prevented uh, is transitive verb. So children generally is uh, just the object and from coming to garden. Garden to is an object of preposition. So uh, we can say that uh, um, just uh, Hajari, our soldiers, children and garden are all object but they are all nouns which are uh, which have been used as an object in the sentences. Now so we cannot make any mistake because Hajari may be subject also, our soldiers may be subject also, children may be subject also and garden may be subject also. So in the form as such, there is no change. Yes, uh, just there is a marker in Hindi uh, for the object uh, like ko. Uh, just uh, we can say 
उसने उस मैंने उनको जस्ट कुछ रुपये दिए हेयर जस्ट को उनको हेयर इज दैट इज हिम इक्वल टू हिम ऑफ इंग्लिश ऑब्जेक्ट हैज़ बीन एक्सप्रेस्ड विथ सर्टन मार्कर लाइक को इन हिंदी सो वी कैन जस्ट वेरी मच टॉक अबाउट को मार्कर फॉर द पर्सनल प्रोनाउन इन हिंदी एज वेल बट हेयर इन इंग्लिश वंस अगेन वी कैन नॉट से दैट देर इज एनी मार्कर फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट बट प्रोनाउन एज सच इज डिस्टिंक्टली यूज इन टू ऑब्जेक्टिव केस यू कैन से दैट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ आई इज मी द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ वी इज अस यू नो देन द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ यू इज ऑलवेज यू द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ही इज हेज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ शी इज हार एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ इट इज एट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दे इज देन देम देम सॉरी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दे इज देम सो दीज आर ऑल द पर्सनल प्रोनाउंस इन टू ऑब्जेक्टिव केस सो मी अस यू हेज हार इट एंड देन आर ऑल द प्रोनाउंस विच आर यूज इन टू ऑब्जेक्टिव केस ओनली सो वी कैन नॉट मेक देम सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन ए सी मी टॉक हिम नो दिस इज वंस अगेन जस्ट एन इरोन सेंटेंस बिकॉज मी हैज बिन यूज एट द प्लेस ऑफ सब्जेक्ट बट हेयर ऑब्जेक्टिव केस फॉर्म हैज बिन यूज सो वंस अगेन वी कैन से नो दिस इज ही टॉक टू मी हेयर यस टॉक इज एन इज ए ट्रेंजिटिव हर्म एंड द मी इज जस्ट फॉलोइंग ट्रेंजिटिव हर्म सो वी कैन से या इट इज जस्ट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस एंड राइटली यू हैव यूज इन टू दैट ऑब्जेक्टिव केस फॉर्म सो हेयर जस्ट वी कैन टेक सम एग्जाम्पल्स आई टोल्ड हिम टू रिवाइज द लेशन हेयर वी कैन से इन द सेंटेंस हिम इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव केस फॉर्म ऑफ ही एंड सो इट इज राइटली यूज एंड कंसन सेज टू मी मी इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव केस फॉर्म आई एंड सो दे गेव गोस्वामी इन वैल्यूबल सपोर्ट गोस्वामी इज द नाउन दैट हैज बिन यूज एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट एट दिस प्लेस सो वॉट यू फाइंड इज द फैक्ट दैट द वर्ल्ड हैज बिन डिस्कस्ड वी हैव डिस्कस टू डे जस्ट इन ब्रीफ दैट नाउन एंड प्रोनाउन आर जनरली यूज एज जस्ट जस्ट एज इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म ऑफ द केस इन इंग्लिश हाउ वेर वी शुड नोटिस दैट नोइंग देर ऑर जस्ट केस वेरी डिस्टिंक्टली इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस नॉट ओनली फॉर जस्ट university examination because i told you that we can have so many questions from grammar uh, into university examination or just when we are dealing with certain problems of narration to uh, this knowledge can help us better there to uh, just uh, correctly just uh, report something from direct to indirect and uh, make sentence into direct indirect speech as well so it is very much important that we should take into account all these forms and we can use it correctly it helps you make your english better also so we just have to stop here for the time being and we can say that we can talk about another case that is possessive case tomorrow thanking thanking you very much once again a lot of thanks to you